Hi guys, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we're gonna talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum, so the overall market condition, plus we will try to focus on the layer two scaling solutions. And most of all, there is one of them that has been quite a lot of hype during the last couple of days and last couple of weeks I'm talking about Arbitrum. And I will tell you what are the two reasons why many people are going on and they are pushing on Arbitrum right now and what are the limits that we should be aware of. So stay tuned because it could be quite interesting and also can help you to better understand how you should approach this situation because yes, maybe there is an airdrop that is coming and we should have to be ready for it. So stay tuned. Just before to start, guys, remember that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but pay always attention to always your own research and after that decide if it's time, right time to invest or not. And if you're new to the channel, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel to stay always updated. And if you enjoy this content, leave a big thumbs up, drop a comment. That's just a small effort for you, but really means a lot to us. So guys, please do it. So guys, let's start immediately. What is the uh, market situation right now? As you can see from the chart, unfortunately, we have been trying several times to break the resistance at uh, 22,000 uh, dollar, but uh, we were unsuccessfully. And right now we are struggling to maintain the support at uh, 20,000. And the same is happening also for Ethereum. But what is the situation right now? So what's happening? There is there anything else aside from seeing Bitcoin and Ethereum that are in a downfall? And the answer is yes. From one side, the major happening that we are all waiting for the merge of Ethereum that should happen around August. And that will be a really crucial milestone that can change the future of uh, the price. I don't think that that kind of happening will uh, change the situation from a bear market to a bull market, but at least maybe if everything will go through smoothly, we can expect some kind of relief bounce because at the end of the story, if you try to check the chart, you will see that starting from this level that we were like at $3,400, we are right now down by something like 70% in not even two months, something like that, with no real relief bounce. And that's something that sooner or later will happen. We are just waiting for the right trigger. In the meanwhile, what was happening is that Arbitrum was acquiring a market share. As you can see from this chart that has been powered by Nansen, the uh, number of users and number of transactions daily has been literally skyrocketing in the last couple of weeks, starting from April to uh, the last week. The number of transactions on Arbitrum has been literally exploding. There are two main reasons why Arbitrum is so high right now and it is increasing the number of transactions. First of all, there is an event, it was going on, and this event is called Odyssey, and it was an eight week a long journey in order to help user to explore how this layer 2 solution is working, what are the possibilities, and literally guiding users through bridges and the different protocols that are part of this ecosystem. Unfortunately, there has been a problem. That's the reason why I was talking with the past sentence. And the reason is because it has just been stopped. So that's another bad uh, news for Arbitrum from one side, but also for the overall crypto space. And after all we have seen with many different uh, crypto projects that has been suffering downfall into the price, uh, and at the same time, many acts and so on. In this case, we have seen a congestion because yes, from one side, it is good to see that the number of transaction is going on, is going up. On the other side, it is quite dangerous because the real question that we have to answer is, is this uh, layer two solution able to scale so fast, so rapidly in order to absorb this number of transactions? And unfortunately, the answer has been no. At this state of art, the Arbitrum solution is not able to scale up. That's the reason why they have decided to stop the event, just waiting for the release of Nitro, that is this solution here. 
So that's a, a major update to uh, the blockchain, to the way that uh, the Arbiton solution is able to scale up. This will happen in the next couple of weeks. So that's the reason why it's not a failure, but just um, an answer saying, guys, we know that we literally would like to scale. We would like to create something that is powerful, something that you can enjoy. But on the other side, we should to accept that at this point, we are not yet able to absorb this kind of demand. And if it is happening, if so many people are just using, so many transactions are happening into our uh, layer two, unfortunately, the level of uh, fees, so the gas fees, will literally skyrocket. And that's also the reason why these days we have seen the swapping fees on Arbitrum reaching the level almost of what we are used to see on Ethereum. And that's obviously something that is quite dangerous, something that is unacceptable, because we are using Arbitrum, a layer 2 solution, just for a saving fees just because it is able to scale much faster and it's offering a smoother experience. If it's not happening, we have a problem and we need to solve it. That's the reason why they have decided to stop it in order to wait for this release. And in the moment when it will happen, we will have uh, again our odyssey so our journey that the reason why so many people are joining it is because it is rewarding people with some nfts each time they are uh, completing some kind of transactions and uh, i want to add also that uh, the older rewards will be available until august i don't know if they will change the schedule after this uh, stop in any case if you want to know more i highly encourage you to follow the arbitrum uh, twitter page or any other channel that is part of this community. Say it so, I want to stop for a second trying to understand why there is so much interest into a Arbitrum. And first of all, I want to say that with any probability sooner or later also a token for Arbitrum will come. We still don't know how it will be uh, released, we don't even know if it will be for real released or how it will be distributed. With any probability, it will follow. It, it will try to reward people that uh, were using the Arbitrum blockchain, the Arbitrum uh, layer two uh, scaling solution. That's the reason why so many people are also joining this kind of event with uh, the uh, hope to use the Arbitrum solution right now in order to be rewarded not only with the NFT right now, but also in the future with a possible airdrop. Say it so I want to also share with you this overview by CoinMarketCap that is trying to compare Arbitrum with Optimus. Optimus is another layer 2 scaling solution that unfortunately after the airdrop has been suffering, at least in terms of price. As you can see here from the all time high that has been just 19 days ago, the price has fallen by more than 70%, so quite a lot just in not even a month and the reason is because at this point there is a lot of selling pressure and there is not easy to scale but it doesn't mean that the project that the blockchain is that it simply means that at this point trying to speculate on this kind of tokens is quite dangerous the point is that as long as we are not seeing a bottom on ethereum and bitcoin all the different other tokens will suffer, including projects that could be good like Optimism or any other layer 2 scaling solution. I want to go back to this comparison by CoinMarketCap about uh, uh, Arbitrum and Optimism. I don't really agree with the concept who will win the layer 2 war. I don't really think that there is this kind of war. I really think that there is enough space for each player. The real question is, uh, how each player will be focusing. Will it be simply a general layer two solution with any kind of dApps on it? Or on the other side, it will be more specific on a certain kind of protocols, industry, and so on. Because for example, what we are seeing on the Cosmos Hub is that each chain is dedicated a certain kind of project. And that's also the reason why, for example, DYDX has been leaving Ethereum and the layer 2 uh, scaling solution that they were using in order to join to create their own 
Cosmos based blockchain. Because what they have been saying is, guys, what we need is something that is dedicated because we need to scale, we need to offer the best user experience to our users. And in order to do it, we need to have a dedicated blockchain. I truly believe that it's not really a matter of a war between the different kind of blockchains. It's much more a matter to understand what is the real use case for each of them. There are many use cases, there are many different apps that are needing scaling solutions, so I really think that there is enough space for all of them. But I think that being more focused on something, being able to solve a specific problem could be something that will be the next big trend and it's something that we have already seen with uh, DYDX that is moving with uh, its own blockchain, QG that is moving with its own blockchain, Osmosis that has been working greatly with uh, its own blockchain and so on. So many different protocols which are going into this direction. Obviously at a certain point Arbitrum and Optimism will share some kind of user base and some of them will be able to reach a higher price, a higher uh, traction and so on. But uh, really, I truly believe that if each of them will be able to do their job, there will be enough space for all of them. So guys, don't worry if at this point you are seeing the price that is dropping, you are seeing that uh, protocols are moving from a specific blockchain to some other. There is enough space for all of them. What they need to do is just uh, try to solve the different difficulties that they have been facing in the last couple of months because we have been seeing a uh, security problems, scalability problem, congestions problem, a fees problem and so on. So there are many different problems that uh, each blockchain should solve. But if they will be able to create something that works, that is solving a specific problem, that is offering some kind of advantage, not to all of the different apps, but at least to some of them, no problem. There is not a matter of a, a war between Arbitrum and Optimus. Guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Arbitrum, if you have been using it or not. We will have a an airdrop also for Arbitrum like what we have seen with Optimus. What do you think about it? Just write me it into the comment section below. Guys, remember if you enjoy this content, remember to leave a big thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.